So hello, Trina here. <clears throat> I just returned back from my trip to Bodega Bay. I had a camping trip for three days with my family, and it was very enjoyable. If you are interested in finding out more about that trip that I took, and the synchronicity and the magic that happened on that trip, you could go to my The Productive Cannabis Connoisseur YouTube channel, or you can just go and look at my Instagram videos and photographs that I put up yesterday and also on Facebook as well and I'll leave the links in the description below <clears throat> that trip was amazing it really inspired me and I saw so many synchronicities occurring within my world just right within those three days of that trip um, I was able to afterwards when we got back go on a thrift store shopping trip and um, I just was wanting to get some things that will go with um, the art that I'm trying to finish and perhaps some clothing for myself for this winter. So I wanted to talk about what I found, my thrift store haul from uh, <clears throat> after I went camping and how it oddly coincides and, you know, it definitely... Um, <laughs> It definitely does connect with my camping trip. The books that I found, <clears throat> the jewelry that I found as well. So, so let's do this. <laughs> so at the thrift store, I found a bunch of books, and uh, one of the books uh, my son found for me. This is I will show you that one first. This one is called A Course in Miracles. I don't know if you guys heard of it, but a long time ago, I found this book when I was. Uh, just starting my spiritual journey, trying to figure out things, figure out the world, figure out what, how, if there's one god or many gods or many goddesses or one goddess or what have you. I started going to this class at this place called the Creative Awareness Center, and there was a woman that taught uh, A Course in Miracles. And uh, the book, I remember it being a lot bigger, and it was a leather-bound book, and the pages were similar to the Bible, how thin they are. And um, I found this book very fascinating because um, I, as a child, I was told I had to go to Sunday school. And when I went to Sunday school, I became very, very jaded by the Bible and by Christianity because of the way it was presented to me um, through Sunday school. So um, this is a really good book. It reminds me a lot of the Bible in a lot of ways. I'm not saying it is the Bible because it isn't. But it reminds me of the Bible in so many ways. <clears throat> I'm not going to dog out the Bible because I think the Bible does have some um, helpful things in there. And some common sense uh, things that we should do every day. You know? It just does. So Then I found this book called... And the thing, the, the synchronistic thing about this book, A Course in Miracles, finding this, my son finding this, is because a few days ago... I had talked about this before he found this book at the thrift store. I told him about this book because he was reading the Bible and kind of interested in it a little bit, just reading it. And I was telling him how this is kind of similar to the Bible. It's not the Bible, it's similar to it. And I was like, I wish I could find it again and I could show you it, what I mean by that. And then, like, here we go. I go to the thrift store and I find this book. How does that happen? <laughs> Synchronicity. Uh, the universe... Now, I want to say the universe, if you're talking to angels and gods and goddesses and you're communicating with them on a regular basis, then they're going to pick up all the things that you're thinking about and that you're wanting to come into your view to be tangible right in front of you. So when you're talking about things, they're listening. So remember that. <laughs> and there's another one called Star Woman. And I was thinking about this and on my trip. I was thinking about... This kind of thing, the journeying that this, the kind of journeying that I do when I go into the dream world, it makes me think of this kind of thing, this uh, this story, the Star Woman, and Lynn V. Andrews just in general, her stories that she's written, that I've read. It's just a big metaphysical, shamanic, spiritual journey. It's just wonderful, and I felt like that's what was going on with me when I was camping at Bodega Bay. I can't get any more... <laughs> any more uh, in detail unless I write a book about it which I probably will but it was profound in so many ways 
I saw a deer, um, I was thinking on the way up there that I wanted to see a deer before I, we left the camping trip, and sure enough, I got a chance to see one, not in full view, but the silhouette of it in the dark, um, when I was by the fire, just sitting at the fire, I saw it, so yeah, I talked about that, I think, I believe, um, in the video I did on my, the Productive Cannabis Connoisseur YouTube channel, so you check that one out too. And then I found this book, uh, The Best of Mystery, 63 Short Stories Chosen by the Master of Suspense, Alfred Hitchcock. And I like Alfred Hitchcock and always have since I was a kid. My mom introduced me to Alfred Hitchcock. She loved a lot of those type of stories. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, just so happens Bodega Bay, uh, the movie The Birds was shot there. So synchronicities <laughs> and then I read this book called Hollywood Babylon 2 it's pretty much talking about some conspiracies with a lot of the Hollywood uh, old school Hollywood actors and actresses from back in the day <clears throat> so it looks fascinating to me I don't know if they had part one I didn't see part one this is part two but yeah it's pretty interesting so and usually, uh, Goodwill usually has a good uh, selection of books. I usually am able to find something there. And then I've got this one, The Complete Kama Sutra. And it's not like positions and all that kind of stuff. It, it, talks, it goes a lot deeper than that, than just the sexual act of the Kama Sutra. It has something a lot more deeper within this. So I'm going to check this out. Um, one of the metaphysicians that I like to watch uh, recommended this book. And it's funny how I found that. So, <laughs> it just was there at the thrift store. And it was a decent price. It was only like two bucks. So, all these books are two bucks and under that I bought. So, and the Course in Miracles book, when I bought it all those years ago, it was like 24 bucks. I got it for less than two bucks. So, <laughs> it's back. <laughs> and I wanted to show you some of the jewelry that I um, found uh, at the thrift store, and then I started incorporating into a specific creation that I've been working on. So I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about as far as the jewelry that I found at the thrift store the other day that I can incorporate into this creation I've been working on. It's a gypsy pagan goddess dress that I've been working on for many years. I think it's been over 10 years now. Um, I have to look back at the videos to see how long it's been because I've got some video footage of the process of me making this dress step by step by sew sewing it by hand. And it's all recycled fabrics. So let me see if I can show it to you. Um, here we go. Turn this way. So here we go. I got to hang it up here. But what I found at the thrift store was this these shell necklaces. And I was able to adorn this dress with the shell necklaces so if you want to see more of this dress in its full entirety go to my uh, instagram and my facebook and i'll have photos of it i even have a photo of the back of it let me turn it around so you can see the back of it do, 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 do. Let's see. Okay. so here's the back of it when i posed with the back of it wearing it when I turned around to show the back of the dress when I was posing with it, it uh, looked like it was just a shirt. But it's not a shirt. <laughs> it is indeed a dress. And it's a dress I've been working on for quite a while, just piecing it together with things that I find, things that are given to me, all recycled. Or if it is bought, it's been bought from the thrift store. So it's even got a zipper on the side. And I tried it on, and surprisingly fits really well. Um... So I'm going to keep working on it little by little to finish it. I am going to sell it. So I'm not keeping it. It does look adorable on me, though. <laughs> no. I'm going to sell it, though. Um, so if you guys, uh, when you get, whenever it's ready, I'll let you know. But it takes me a while because I'm sewing it all by hand. I'm really proud of the detail I got with the shells right there. So I hope I'm getting it okay in the camera. So, so yeah. <laughs> That is what I wanted to show you guys today. And I also got some more jewelry. Um, I can't find that necklace that I had. It was more like a, um, a collar necklace. It was really cool. And I did take a photo of me wearing it 
on my Instagram and I think it's on my Facebook as well. So it's really, uh, it has this, it makes me think of like Egyptian goddesses, that style of jewelry. And then I got these two uh, silver Mardi Gras uh, beaded necklaces because I want to incorporate it into this purse that I've been working on. Let me grab that purse when I pause. Okay, I'm back. So this is the purse I was talking about. I wanted to put the uh, those silver uh, silver Mardi Gras beads onto, sew those onto, because I think it would be a nice accent. And that's what I was looking for for this bag as an accent to put onto. It's a it's a goddess alien bag, all hand sewn, all hand embroidered. Every little alien bead on there, sewn by me. Every little goddess charm fabric goddess charm on here so by me and it's all recycled fabrics it's got a zipper on the top but yeah i thought this would be good uh, the silver would be nice for it to adorn it to add some a little bit of embellishment to it maybe hanging on the bottom or maybe within the design of the actual bag see what i'm talking about so i mean little accents like i could sew it on each little accent on there for the bag to make it pop a little bit more so i've been having fun with that and it was a fun trip both the th thrift store trip and the camping trip so just thought i'd share that with you guys i hope you guys get a chance out to get outside um even if it's not camping but just to go outside and take in some nature because it can really um it can really make you feel uh refreshed make you feel whole again make you feel the way you're supposed to feel as a creative being on this planet. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for all your kind words. Thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the likes and the shares. And thank you for, yeah, the comments. The comment sections, section has been very, very nice and very supportive and very sharing, sharing with everyone your knowledge. And that's what I like to see on this channel. <laughs> so, with that, that said, brightest blessings to you all. I'll see you soon, and stay creative.